Hey boo things, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiara Nicole and you know, I did not do a video last Sunday because your girl has been like running around with a chicken, what is the saying? Running around like a chicken with the whatever the saying is. I know I haven't brought you guys a video and I have been crazy busy with lost shipments and everything. If you guys don't know, I am in preparation of launching my new online lingerie boutique. So if you haven't already done so, please make sure that you follow us on Instagram at the love on her. Please support your girl. We launch July 15th. But anyway, so I was like, but I can't leave my boo things out. So I wanted to do just a quick video for you guys of just 25 random facts about me. I mean, y'all watch me week after week, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you don't know things about me. So we are going to get right into it. I'm not going to waste your time anymore rambling. Here are 25 random facts about me. Number one, I was born and raised in Baltimore, Maryland. Those of you who don't know, I've been living in Atlanta for the past six years. Before then, I was living in New York. Before then, I was living everywhere else. But Baltimore is where I actually call home. Number two, although I was technically raised the only child, I do have two half sisters and two half brothers. I am older than all four of them, but I love them dearly. Number three, I was in the military for five years. Hoorah, Air Force, yeah. Number four, I left the military to become a flight attendant. Number five, I was medically released five months into being a flight attendant because I have an inner ear dysfunction and I can't equalize pressure in my ear when I'm flying. Number six, I was homeless within like two weeks of moving to New York City. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys, that might have to be a video for another day, but being homeless in New York is not fun, as you can imagine. <laughs> Number seven, I was actually diagnosed with cervical cancer and I had my cervix removed. Now I know that's like real graphic, y'all. That's getting real personal. But I'm very, very open about that. Very open about my journey and everything. So again, I may do a video later on if you guys wanna know a little bit more about that. Number eight, I still have the same stuffed animal that I got from my very first birthday. Everybody say hi to my Chi Chi. As you see, she is torn and tattered, but this girl goes everywhere with me. She is definitely like my security blanket. Judge your mama. Number nine, I know how to swim, but I do not like getting my hair wet. And I know y'all like, you ain't even got no hair. Well, because my hair is bleached and chlorine does not mix well with bleach. Number 10, I hate folding clothes. I have a washer and dryer in my apartment and I'm telling you, I will wash clothes all day, every day. But then when it comes to folding it, mm -mm. I just sit them in the dryer and just pull them out. In fact, I think I have a dryer full of clothes right now. Ah. Number 11, I have a serious sweet tooth. Like I literally will judge a restaurant based on its dessert menu. Like they can have the most amazing food ever, but if their dessert menu is lackluster, I really don't want to go there. Number 12. Those of you who don't know, I was engaged and even though I called it off, I still do want to get married. It's still a dream of mine to find that man, have him sweep me off my feet, and we live happily ever after. Or at least until he get on my nerves. Ooh. Number 13, I do not have a car. I have been living without a car in Atlanta for the past like year. 
and I have actually been getting around pretty pretty good sometimes number 14 I am a fan of Beyonce but I am not a part of the beehive I love her I think she's amazing I think she's talented but I am NOT an obsessed crazy fan number 15 I color my own hair even though it's like wrapped right now and I get asked this question quite a bit I use the I think it's called the L'Oreal or something like that or Revlon I'll put a picture of it over here um, but yeah I just I use the box color and I have been doing that for like the past four or five years number 16 I have hypothyroidism if you don't know what that is is I have an underactive thyroid I have talked about it numerous times on a couple of videos uh, but yeah I struggled with that for the past like five years and sometimes I'm winning that battle and child sometimes I just I ain't number 17 Believe it or not, I am actually kind of shy. As I said, I was raised the only child, so I can be a bit of an introvert if I'm around people that I don't really know. And plus, I'm a cancer. In social settings, like the first like five minutes or so, I'm kind of like, eh. but once the ice is broken, chow, I come alive. Number 18, my most favorite place in the entire world is Hawaii like I said I've traveled the world when I was a flight attendant I even worked on a cruise ship uh, and <laughs> the most amazing place is right here in the USA even though it's like not actually attached to the rest of the states but I love Hawaii number 19 I deal with anxiety a little bit I never really knew exactly what it was but I do tend to get overwhelmed really easily and sometimes I can uh, have a panic attack it's been under control the past couple of years but I'm not gonna lie starting this business I have had some episodes but I've learned to kind of deal with it you know have some coping mechanisms I meditate a lot I do breathing exercises and things like that so if you're dealing with anxiety out there I get you girl you're not alone don't worry we'll fight through it number 20 I have an extremely bad habit of chewing on the inside of my mouth and I have been doing this since I was 13 years old I used to suck my thumb and then I got braces, so then I couldn't suck my thumb anymore, so then I started this really bad habit, and now at 36, I am still doing it, and I feel like it is, like, multiplied <laughs> in the past, like, a year. I don't know what it is, but I cannot control it. Like, is she? It's terrible, right? I, it's so disgusting. I cannot help it. I can't help it. 21. <laughs> I am extremely sensitive like I said I am a cancer so uh, I'm not gonna lie my feelings do get hurt just a little bit okay okay a lot my feelings will get hurt really easily a lot 22 I have never seen Harry Potter Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones please don't don't send me hate mail I'm sorry I've just never been I've never seen any of those like vampire movies or anything I just never really liked those like fantasy type movies kill me I don't know 23 I used to have an English bulldog named Charlie yeah I miss my Charlie he was the sweetest thing ever uh, but at the time I was going through a lot of transitions and I honestly just could not take care of him So I actually put him up for adoption and I did not take him to the pound or anything like that I actually found him a great home that had a son and they Loved each other and still do to this day Hi Charlie, I miss you 24 I am obsessed with tacos and margaritas. If any of you know me and have ever seen me on Instagram, I 
probably have tacos and margaritas at least once a week. And that's just being like, like chill. At least once a week, I'm having tacos and margaritas. It is ridiculous. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna go get some tomorrow. And 25, my guilty pleasure is watching reruns of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. <laughs> I'm so serious. I have been binge watching them. It's just like, I swear, it is ridiculous. I don't even know, like, why but I sit there in my downtime I will sit there and I will watch keeping up with the Kardashians all day like this weekend I didn't get a chance to watch it and I actually was like missing it <sighs> that's so sad to to admit but that is all both things if there's anything else you guys want to know about me don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section and if you have not already done so please make sure you hit the red subscribe button down below and join my boot thing tribe and until next time stay true stay blessed and stay in love